Welcome, welcome, everyone. <sighs> All right. So let's just start by coming into a comfortable seated position. As often, I'm sitting up on a block, but you can just sit on the floor or in a chair, however you're comfortable. Oh, and let's just take a deep breath in together. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Good. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. And just doing that a few times on your own. So with each inhale, lengthen the spine. Feel the crown of the head floating up. With each exhale, feeling the shoulders soften down and back. And after your next exhale, we'll allow the eyes to flutter closed and continue to breathe in and out through your nose. So we'll begin our practice with a little bit of silence to just tune in to our breath, tune in to our bodies, and tune in to anything that we might be feeling today. And so we'll just take a minute here Breathing through the nose. And using this time of silence to just step back and observe. Observe your breathing. And observe how you're feeling as we begin our class today. From here, place your left hand on your heart and continue to just sit in silence and observe. So whatever is coming up, maybe there are a lot of thoughts rolling around in your head. Maybe you're feeling really happy and relaxed or angry or frustrated. There is no right or wrong. In this time and space, this is our opportunity to just allow whatever is here to be here. No judgment. We're not trying to control anything. We're just welcoming whatever wants to arise. And if that's not really anything at all, then that's not really anything at all. Any thoughts, emotions, sensations, take a few more breaths and just observe. And then just place your right hand over your left in a gesture of 
just some tenderness and love for yourself. Just placing our hands here can be really reassuring and comforting. And just sending a silent message to yourself that you are here for yourself and that you have shown up today to care for your body, to care for your heart, your body, your soul, and really just thank yourself for showing up for yourself today. And then just bring your hands together in front of the heart and tuck your chin slightly and start to engage your ujjayi breathing. So constrict the back of the throat gently as you breathe through your nose and just listen to that soft sighing of your breath. Notice how it feels to inhale ujjayi breath and to exhale ujjayi breath. And on your next inhale, keep that breath going. Sweep the arms out and up and touch your palms above the head. Looking up and exhale, draw your hands to the heart. Do that two more times. Inhale, sweep the arms out and up. Ujjayi breath. Lift the heart, look up. Exhale, hands down your midline. Back to the heart. One more time, deep breath in. Look up, lift the heart. Exhale, hands down your midline. And back to the heart. Uh, release the hands here. Take a moment to check in with your posture. So feel your shoulders over the hips and feel the crown of the head over your tailbone. Take a deep breath in through the nose. As you exhale, place the tips of your fingers right on top of the shoulders like this. And then breathe in again, nice tall spine. Exhale, rotate your belly to the right and then your shoulders and then your head. Look behind you, inhale back to center. Exhale, twist to the left, first the belly, shoulders, and then the head turns. Inhale back to center. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, center. So we're using our abdominals to twist. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, back to center. Okay, one more time on each side. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhaling, center. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, release the hands. Inhale, bring the shoulders up to the ears. And then exhale, squeeze them back and down. Let's do two more like that. Inhale, forward and up. Exhale, back and down. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Good. From here, if you're sitting cross-legged, go ahead and switch the cross of your legs. Okay, so if you're cross-legged, just switch the other leg on top. Okay, I'm going to keep my legs back like this because it's more comfortable for my knees. Okay. And from here, interlace your fingers and press your palms out in front of you. And as you do this, press your fingers against the backs of your hands. So there's a little bit more of a stretch in the backs of your fingers. And then on your inhale, reach the arms up above your head or as much as they comfortably come. Inhale, sit tall. And then again, exhale, we're going to twist to the right. So first your belly, shoulders, and then your head. 
Inhale back to center. So really full ujjayi breaths here. Exhale, twist to the left, belly, chest, and head. Inhale back to center. This time, exhale, twist to the right, release the arms and bring your right hand behind you. Bring your left hand to the top of the right knee and look behind. Inhale, come back to center, touch your palms above the head. And then exhale, twist to the left and then sweep your left arm back, right hand on the knee. Inhale, back to center. Interlace your fingers now the awkward way so the other thumb is on top and then press the hands up above you. Breathe in. Exhale, bring the hands right behind the base of your skull and cradle your head. So let your head relax back into your hands. Elbows are open out to the sides. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, round your back, tuck your chin and bring your elbows towards each other. Inhale, lift the heart, open the elbows, arch the spine and rest the head back into your hands. Exhale, round and tuck. Again, inhale, lift the heart, open the elbows, arch the spine, and look up to the ceiling. Exhale, round, tuck, elbows towards each other, chin to chest. Two more times on your own, inhaling to lift. And just noticing any sensations that you feel as we move through this, sort of like a seated cat cow. And after your last one, sit up nice and tall and then release the hands. Let them just kind of hang right underneath your shoulders. Inhale and bring your shoulders up to the ears. Exhale, let them flop down. Breathe through the mouth. <sighs> Again, inhale. Exhale. <sighs> and inhale. And exhale. <sighs> Good. Come on to hands and knees and we'll come into our tabletop position and we'll start with spreading the fingers really wide. So whenever we come, whenever we come into tabletop, we want to make sure that we have a really nice wide base in our hands. So spread the fingers wide and that will just um, decrease the pressure under our wrists. So we're not um, straining our wrists like that. And press down through the pads of your fingers and just feel the hands and fingers activate. And then feel the wrists and the arms activate. And then feel your whole body just nice and um, activated. And so you're just aware of your body from head to toe. And as you inhale, keep your fingers spread wide, real arch the back, look up. And exhale, round and tuck, draw your hips back to your heels and bring your elbows and forehead towards the mat. Let them touch if they can reach comfortably, otherwise just let them come wherever they naturally fall. As you inhale, slide your chest forward, press through the hands and come into your cow, uh, cow position. So arch spine and then exhale round and tuck, draw the hips back, forehead and elbows down, inhale, slide forward, back into cow, exhale again, round and tuck, keep that ujjayi breath going through the nose, inhale, slide forward, and exhale, ujjayi breath. Try to move for about six counts on the exhale. So you might count in your head. And then the inhale, no need to count. Just come up however long it takes. Exhale for six counts. Inhaling up. 
and this time exhale for six counts, but we're gonna pause halfway through. So round and tuck. Exhale about halfway down and then just pause like you're pressing pause on a movie. And then continue all the way down. And inhale, come back up. Let's do a few rounds just like that. So exhale, round and tuck. Pause halfway through your exhale. And then continue down. Continue on your own. And then do one more round. And on the bottom of this next exhale, go ahead and just stay down and come into child's pose. So you'll separate your knees, bring your big toes to touch, and sit the hips back on the heels. Stretch the arms out in front of you and bring the forehead towards the mat or maybe on a pillow or a block if that forehead doesn't touch the mat. And just come back to your ujjayi breathing here. And just notice how you feel after that really simple sequence. Any effects of tuning into the breath and pausing the breath in that way. take a couple more breaths here and we're going to play with that pausing of the breath a few times throughout our practice today and I want you just to notice what happens when we uh, tune into the breath and introduce that pause what happens with our breath with our attention just observe for yourself On your next inhale, we'll come back up onto hands and knees. We'll tuck the toes and come into downward facing dog. So float those hips up and back and just feel out this first downward facing dog. Maybe pedal your feet out a little bit, shake your head, shift your hips, whatever you wanna do here. And then go ahead and settle into a static downward dog. So just like in tabletop, the fingers are spread wide, pressing or pressing through the pads of the fingers. You can soften your knees a bit here if your hamstrings feel tight. Try to get your spine nice and long as opposed to rounded like this, okay? So you might have to bend your knees more in order to get that. So focus more on getting a long spine than getting straight legs. One more breath here, ujjayi breath. Okay, shift the weight to your left foot and on your inhale, float the right leg up and back. Lift it up as high as you can, bend the knee and then stack your right hip over the left and then square your hips. Step the leg forward between the hands, come into a high lunge. And just pause in this high lunge, sink your hips a little bit lower, so you're just sort of playing with this stretch a little bit. You might rock side to side gently. You might lift the hips a little bit up, a little bit down. And then press down through that right foot, use the power of that pressing down to lift your torso and bring your hands to your hips. Okay, so from here, nice long spine, straight up and down, hands on the hips, tailbone is slightly tucked. Feel that lift through the crown of your head, shoulders relaxing down and back. 
deep breath in. Exhale, hold here and just settle your eyes on one point. Find your drishti. We'll take one more breath, this time sweeping the arms forward and up. Exhale out. Float the hands down, back into downward facing dog. And just feel your body here. Reconnect with that ujjayi breath in case you've lost it. And notice how every time we just reconnect with our breath, it brings us back to just being really present in what we're doing right here, right now. Shift your weight to your right foot, lift your left leg up and back. Bend the knee, stack the left hip over the right. And then square the hips, step the leg through between the hands. Come into a high lunge. And again, we'll just play with lowering the hips a little bit, or maybe lifting them a bit higher. Maybe shifting the hips side to side. Okay. And then come back to center, press down through that left foot and use the power of that pressing down of the foot to lift your torso up. Hands to the hips, long spine, find your drishti. Reach that right heel back, deep breath in through the nose. Exhale out. And then inhale, reach your arms forward and up. Exhale out. And float the hands down. Downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Exhale out. Soften the knees, look forward and step or jump to the top of your mat. Inhale, come halfway up, nice long spine. And then exhale, forward fold. Relax your head, maybe shake your head out a bit if you need to. From here, we'll rock forward and back gently from the heels to the balls of the feet. And as we do so, just feel into the backs of your legs. How are your hamstrings and your calves feeling in this position? Do they feel super tight to the, to the point that it's uncomfortable? or even painful? If so, just soften your knees a little bit more. If you want a deeper stretch, then press your thighs back, lift your hips up, feel into that stretch a little bit deeper. Okay, and then equal the weight on the heels and the balls of your feet. Soften your knees if you need to, and then interlace your hands behind the base of the skull and just use your hands to um, imagine that you're dragging your hands up the back of your head just to give a little bit of a deeper stretch to that space between your shoulder blades, down your spine, back of the neck. But be really gentle here. It's not like a forcing strong pull of the hands. It's just a gentle encouragement just to feel into that stretch a bit deeper. One more breath here. Relax your eyes, find your breath. Good, and then release the hands. Bend your knees about 90 degrees, press down through your feet, and then roll up one vertebrae at a time, nice and slow here. Slowly, slowly until you're back up and you're standing in Tadasana, mountain pose. Oh, shoulders relax down and back. The feet are a little bit active, so lift your toes, spread your toes, and then relax your toes to the floor, but keep that activation in the centers of your feet. So just feel the inner arches of your feet lifting up. 
Okay, lift the inner or lift the kneecap slightly. Take a deep breath in as we stand tall. And exhale, bring your hands to the heart. Just take a moment to feel the structure of your body, this nice posture here, shoulders over hips. The chest feels nice and open. The spine feels nice and tall. On your next inhale, we'll sweep the arms out and up. Touch the palms above your head. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come halfway up. Long spine. Exhale, left leg back. High lunge. Inhale to crescent lunge. Hold as you exhale. Find your drishti. Breathe here. If you're a little wobbly, hug your inner thighs towards each other. And then as you exhale, we're going to sweep the arms out to the sides, right beside your hips, and then hover your upper body over the front leg. Inhale, come right back up, reach the hands above. Exhale, open the arms and lean forward, hovering above the leg. One more time, inhale and lift. Exhale and hover. Bring the hands to the floor. From here, little spinal twist here. So the right knee stays over the ankle and we're going to slide the right fingertips up the outer right leg and then up to the ceiling. Keep the right knee hugging in towards you and deepen the breath here. Find something to gaze at. Maybe the ceiling, maybe something right out in front of you. Stay with your breath. And release. Come into plank pose, top of a push up. Breathing in. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, baby cobra, untuck the toes, lift the chin and chest off the floor, hug the shoulder blades. Hold here as you exhale. And one more breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale through the nose. Exhale. And just feel your body. Take another breath here. And exhale. Soften the knees. Look forward. Step or jump to the top. Inhale. Halfway up. Exhale. Fold. Inhale. Sweep the arms out and up. Touch your palms above the head. Exhale. Hands to heart. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale and fold. Step the right leg back. From here, come on up to crescent lunge. Reach the arms up. Hold here as you exhale and find your drishti. Oh, feel the inner thighs hugging in towards each other. And on your exhale, we'll sweep the arms out, lean forward and hover above the left leg. Inhale, come back up. So just playing with your sense of control here. Exhale to open, find your balance. Inhale up. One more time. You got this. Exhale, leaning forward. And then bring your hands to the floor. Get ready for a spinal twist here. So right hand stays on the ground. Left hand sweeps up towards the ceiling. Hug your left knee towards you. Keep it about 90 degrees bent and feel into that stretch in the outer hip. 
Find your drishti, deep in the breath. Remember our drishti is a point of focus. So soft gaze at one point. Let that help you stay really focused and present in what we're doing here. And then exhale, release. Step into plank pose. Deep breath in. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, cobra or baby cobra. Exhale, lower down. Downward facing dog. Find your breath here once again. Oh, spread the fingers. Stretch the mat away from your feet as you stretch your hands forward and lengthen the spine. One more breath here. And then the knees look forward, step or jump to the top. Inhale halfway up. Exhale and fold. Inhale, sweep the arms out and up. Come to stand, touch your palms. Exhale, hands to the heart. Oh, take a moment to pause here. Find your tall Tadasana. Release the hands. Stand tall, find your breath. Oh, and then from here, we're going to take the right leg and just step it back about one leg's width. One leg's width here. So we'll get ready for warrior two. The left toes are going to face straight forward. Right toes are out at an angle. And let's start with the hands on the hips. So shoulders are going to stay over the hips as we come into warrior two. Bend the left knee till it covers up your left pinky toe. So take a look. If your knee goes past your ankle like mine, then that means you have to take a wider stance. So I'm inching my foot forward and then bend into that left knee again. Okay. Keep the shoulders over the hips and then we'll straighten the leg. So press through the foot and straighten the front leg. Okay, let's just play with that a few times. So exhale, bend the left knee, make it cover up that pinky toe, and just feel that opening in the hips, and then press through the foot and straighten. Exhale, one more time, bend, and straighten. Let's add the arms. Inhale, bend the knee, left hand forward, right hand back. Arms are parallel to the floor. And go ahead and just take a look at your back hand, back arm, make sure it's not drooping down like this. This arm has a tendency to like kind of fall back a little bit, fall down a bit. So just check in with what's happening back there and then gaze over the left fingertips. Hug the inner thighs towards each other. Oh, and find your drishti, find your breath. And in this posture, as we breathe, visualize your lungs expanding like balloons inside your chest, expanding forward, back, up, down, out to the sides, all around in a big sphere. Inhale, you'll even feel your rib cage expand to the sides a little bit. Uh, one more breath. Inhale, feel the expansion in your chest. Exhale, release the back hand, lift the left arm up and then float it over your head, reverse Warrior here, find your drishti, find a comfortable place for your eyes to settle. 
Find your breath. Inhale, come back to warrior two. Exhale, bring the elbow to the left thigh and then reach the right arm up and over the head. Find your drishti and feel a long diagonal line from those right fingertips down the arm, down the side of your body, down the right leg to the heel. One more breath. Press through the feet. Inhale, come back to stand. Turn the left toes in, turn the right toes out. Getting ready for warrior two on this side. Hands to the hips, stand tall, breathe in. Exhale, bend the right knee, make it cover up that right pinky toe. Adjust your feet if you need to. And then inhale to straighten. Again, exhale, bend, make it cover up that pinky toe, and then straighten. One more time. Exhale, bend, cover up that pinky toe. Keep the shoulders over the hips, and let's stretch the arms out. So again, check what that back arm is doing. Keep it parallel, and then gaze over the right fingertips. Find your drishti, really feeling into the sense of focus and strength that this pose requires, like a warrior, or embodying that warrior archetype. Strength, focus. That ability to Remain steady and calm when needed. Really aware of our surroundings and what's around us. And then lower that back hand. Float the right arm up and over the head. Find your drishti. Find a sense of ease in the upper body. So we're not like tensing up the arm and tensing the shoulder up. There's, it should feel like your breath should be able to flow up and down the neck, down the arm. If it feels really tense and tight, then maybe take a little bend in the upper arm or lower it a bit. One more breath here. And then back to warrior two. Exhale, bend the right elbow, place it on our thigh, left arm up and over. Breathing here. It's a side angle stretch. And inhale, come back up. Turn the right toes forward. And then we're going to heel toe the feet back together. Good. And then just shake your legs out a little bit here if you need to. Move them around. Maybe roll your ankles out. Okay, and then we're going to come down to the floor into a seated position with the legs stretched out in front. Oh, so take a moment, come into Dandasana. Flex your feet, sit up tall, find this L shape in your body. Notice that the shoulders draw down and back, the lower belly engages oh, to stay in this tall, upright position. On your inhale, sweep the arms forward and up. On your exhale, hinge at your hips. Lean forward, guiding with the chest. And then fold into a forward bend. 
And just take some breaths down here. Maybe play with a stretch in your neck by swaying your head a little bit side to side. And then slowly walk your hands back towards you. Roll yourself back to Dandasana. Bend your knees and bring the bottoms of your feet together. Hands on your ankles. Inhale to sit tall. Exhale, hinge forward at your hips until your body naturally stops and then bring your chin to your chest and then slowly roll yourself back up to sit. So we're moving with this one. Inhale to sit tall. Exhale to hinge forward at your hips. Notice when your body stops and then bring your chin to your chest and roll back up to seated. Move with your breath. Exhale, ujjayi breath. And tuck your chin at the bottom, roll yourself up. Exhale, hinging forward, tuck the chin, rolling back up. And this time we're going to pause halfway through like we did earlier in class. Exhale, hinge forward about halfway and then pause your movement, pause your breath. So you're holding the breath for a moment. And then exhale, continue forward. Inhale, rolling up. Again, exhale, hinge forward. Pause. Continue. Inhale, rolling up. Exhale, fold. Pause. Continue. Inhale, back up. One more time. Exhale, fold. Pause. Continue. Inhale, back up. I'm just pausing here at the top. Noticing how you feel. Noticing your breath. Use your hands to bring the knees together. Extend the left leg forward. Take the right leg over the left. Flex the left foot. And we're going to wrap the left arm around the knee like this. We're hugging our, our knee close. And then inhale to sit tall. Keep that foot flexed in front. And exhale, turn your belly towards the right and then your shoulders and head. It's a very small movement, so you might feel like you're not really moving at all, and that's okay. You just wanna feel like you're kind of moving in that direction. And take a deep breath here in this final twist. And inhale, untwist, and we'll switch. Right leg stretches forward, bend the left knee. Keep the right foot flexed, and then wrap your right arm around the knee. Inhale to sit tall, and exhale, however little of a movement it is, just turn your belly to the left. Feel it start in your belly, and then your shoulders, and then your head. Find your drishti. Inhale, ujjayi breath. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale to untwist. Extend the legs forward. Wiggle the knees out if you need to. And we'll roll down onto our backs for a relaxation. 
So as you roll down, we'll just hug the knees into the chest, wrap the arms around, give yourself a big hug and tighten up your whole face as you squeeze into a little ball. And then stretch the face, stick out the tongue, roll the eyes back. And relax, bring your head down, extend your legs, feet apart, toes to the sides. Uh, hands away from the body, palms up. You can also bend your knees if that's more comfortable for you. Feet apart, knees together. Inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth. And this time, let out a nice little or big sigh. Don't hold back. Breathe in. <sighs> and just giving yourself this time to rest here. Nothing else to do. Feel the bones of your body very heavy. The muscles and the skin relaxed. Like they're melting down towards the floor. And as you Inhale, the belly rises. Exhale, the belly falls. We'll rest here for a few minutes and I'll let you know when it's time to come out by ringing the bowl.
Begin to deepen the breath. Feeling your belly rise and fall. Body breathing itself. Mm. Place your left hand at your heart once again, just connecting to your body, to your heart center. And just notice how you're feeling here after your practice. Any difference from when we first began today? As you inhale, gently release your hand and find a big stretch as we wake the body, reach the arms up, stretch the legs, point the toes. Exhale, release the hands, roll to one side. And take your time coming up to a comfortable seat. And sit tall. Bring your hands together in front of the heart. And tuck your chin and just thank yourself for making the time for your health, for your well-being, and really for prioritizing that today. I know that it's hard sometimes to make the time for it. So really just honoring yourself for showing up. Thank you for sharing your practice. Have a beautiful rest of your day and week. Namaste.